This family looks perfect and healthy from the outside, but from the inside, not so much. All four of the kids have been diagnosed with a rare white blood cell disease called eosinophilic enteropathy. Now this disease basically affects the digestive system when the kids eat. Their white blood cells think that the food they eat is a parasite and it attacks it, making them throw up. When they found out that all four of our kids had it, that's a really, really rare thing. This, this disease is not supposed to be hereditary. It's not supposed to run in families. Two of our four children are fed through feeding tubes in their abdomens. Their organs are slowly dying. You never think that your children are never gonna get a taste of birthday cake, never have a slice of pizza, never have an ice cream cone. Your kids are never gonna have a normal life. Because of EE, the kids have developed other complications like severe allergies, kidney stones, and breathing problems. And Ryan and Carrie spend their days trying to keep their kids alive. Bailey's urine has to be collected once a month and tested um, because she has the disease in her kidneys, and her kidneys have shut down a couple of times. We have EpiPens for when Jetty's lungs completely shut. We can stab it into his leg and get him breathing again. These are the masks they wear if they're going to the hospital or if we're going to the grocery store. My kids can't touch a cart without getting pneumonia or croup or strep infection. Since nobody has any answers, Ryan has decided to go back to school. He wants to learn as much as he can about this disease so that hopefully he can find a cure and save his kid's life. I work full time and then also I attend school full time. I'm in pursuit of a degree in immunology, which I'll go on to do medical research to hopefully find a cure for my children and other children alike. He leaves every day and goes to work and then to school and he comes home and he still has time to be a dad and be a husband, and I'm just in awe of that. He inspires me. He is not just a dad, not just a great husband, but he is our hero. So here's the thing, guys. Their house is falling apart around them, and it's actually making the kids sicker. There are cracks in the foundation and the walls. There's no insulation, and their only source of heat is from a coal furnace, which is actually causing breathing problems for all the kids. And their water situation isn't much better. This is the well room. Um, as far as we know, it's the last indoor well in this area. This is original to the house. I mean, it's scary to think that what's dripping off that is what we're drinking. Now, between the medical bills and Ryan's tuition, they can't fix this place up. They need our help now. We don't know what else to do. We're on the verge of bankruptcy. And I feel so lost. I feel so stuck. I feel like I'm drowning, like I can't breathe. ABC, I come to you as a man and as a father, and I ask for you to please help me to enjoy my kids while I can't. Help me save their lives. What a dad, right? What an incredible dad. hero. We got to help these guys. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So what do you say? Can we 100%. do this? Yes. Yeah. All right. Here, <laughs> people, let's make it happen. Are you with me? You got to. Well, then let's do it. This family has been through so much. I mean, four of their kids have this disease. So, you know, their lives are about, you know, waking up in the morning and, and making sure their kids make it through the day. The parents have so much to worry about. They don't need to worry about their house being even worse for these kids. So is this her little tube right here? So yeah. She, she gets a feeding every three hours. And so we, we have to do this over an hour every three hours. What scares you the most about your kids having this disease? What scares you the most? Not seeing them grow up and not having them, I think, is, is so scary. I, I love them so much, and I, I just don't want to, I don't want to lose them. I want to be able to find something. The fear is that it could be fatal. Yeah, yeah. You get lots of I don't knows, and we're not sure when you go to the doctor, and it's just, as a parent, it's not acceptable to you. You can't, you, you don't let it, you don't want that to be the final answer. 
It's such a rare disease. Where is research being done uh, for this disease? Um, there's research in Philadelphia. It's a big Philadelphia Children's Hospital. They do a lot there to help them. had bad air, bad water. It was only just making them sicker. When the bus moved, at that moment, you knew that this was your home, that this was for real, and that everything was, was just for, for us, and that it was truly a safe place for them. I can't describe it. It's exactly just the way you, <laughs> when you dream at night, that's when you dream of. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. If you guys love it, you got to give a big hug to, to Corey and the guys from CBH Homes. <laughs> what this week means for me is that miracles do happen. I am so proud for the opportunity, and I hope and pray that the, the Stockdales get everything that they want out of life, and especially those four children. It's so the Stockdale family. I've been waiting to say this all week. Go through that front door and check out your brand new house. OK? okay. Go ahead. Let's go. a healthy place to call home before our home was an enemy to us. It made our kids sicker than they already were. This new house is a dream come true. It's a whole new beginning. It's changed our lives. It's made it a lot easier to wake up in the morning. Tomorrow will be a brighter day because of it. So Stockdale family, what do you think of your new house? It's wonderful. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so check it out. You got two sofas, and then in here is your dining room. And we all fit. <laughs> exactly, you guys all fit. Now, the cool thing is, mm -hmm. I want everybody in here to take a really deep breath. <sighs> you smell that? Yeah. That's clean air. So, we actually have these filters installed in your house that clean all the air that you're breathing, and it's as clean as a hospital. Because of the air filtration system put in, to know that when your kids are running around and being joyous and playing in the house, that they're not breathing in things that are gonna hurt them. It's uh, truly nothing that we could have ever done for our kids. Stockdale family, who's ready to see some more house? Yeah. You guys, go check out your house! <laughs> When I walked in my room, I found an Abe Lincoln chair, and then I found a $5 bill with my face on it, and that was pretty cool. Now you look like Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> look! What is that? Oh my goodness! Who is that? A tail! Tigger! Horses. She wants to be a cowgirl, and she just, she fell in love with it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh. oh, this is incredible. Look at this bed. It's gorgeous. Oh, it is. Mine and Carrie's bedroom, it's 
not only a place where the kids can come to when they're having a rough time, but the same breath, it's a place where Carrie and I can retreat to. It's just amazing. Well, yeah. listen, dude, I know you've been studying down that basement. Right. We thought you deserved a place a little better than that because you care about your family and you support them. Dude, check out your new study. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, dude, your own desk, <laughs> your sign for my family. It's incredible. The sign that Ty had made was wonderful. It says, for my family. It's a corner that I'll continue to glance at and gain even more strength knowing that everything is for my family and that if my kids can keep going, that there's no reason why I can't keep going. So I've actually got another surprise for you, and I think you're going to like it. Follow me. Okay. Ryan, buddy, this is for you. That's right, it's the 2008 <laughs> Ford Taurus X. Brand new. <laughs> Check it out, man. Wow. It's a crossover vehicle. What's great about it is there's tons of room for your whole family right. and all your stuff. I, it, you hear that? Yeah. You might want to hit that phone button right there. Hello? Hi, where are you? Oh, we're out in the driveway. Hey, you guys, come on out here. There's something I want you to see. Bring the family, bring the kids. OK, we're on our way. Wow. It's, it's hands-free. It's called Sync Technology. And that, of course, with your wife on the phone right there. Wow. <laughs> Guys, check out. Check out your new vehicle. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> what do you think? Awesome. Oh, what do you think? Like, the house wasn't enough, you know? There was a car that could fit us all. We could all go to town together. And it's a car that I know, you know, we're safe in. And so that was awesome. When I was growing up, kitchen was kind of like where everybody hung out. Everybody had meals, but most importantly, we all gathered there, and it was like the center of the home. So I actually made your kitchen my special project this week. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. So guys, go check out what's behind those two doors. The kitchen in our new home is a place of happiness and a, a place to gather and have reassurance that the kids were going to enjoy being in this kitchen. It's everything I hoped for and more. Oh, good. So guys, what do you think of your new kitchen? Oh, it's amazing. So here's the cool thing. You guys have got all new appliances, stainless steel surfaces, the most clean you can actually get. Now, I know you said you really wanted a separate kitchen where you could prepare their formula and make sure that it's completely sterile. So why don't you come with me? I want to show you something else. I know this is really important to you, so I wanted to give you something that meant a lot to you, a separate kitchen. Now, this is what you call your sterile kitchen, where you can actually prepare the formula. This is just what we needed. And so right here. Oh, wow. There's all new tubes. Wow. All new masks to keep uh, the germs down. Thank you so much. Here, give me on. The little medical kitchen is going to make such a difference. I mean, it's where I can prepare all the formulas so I don't have to worry about any cross-contamination. It has its own fridge and its own dishwasher. The kitchen was enough, but to do that on top of it was great.